the talking and I would like to share with you the most moments and the biggest stories that most impressed me about Turkey. I visited Marmaris. It is the biggest, the most modern city in Turkey uh, for tourism. It, is, it has tidy night streets and embankments. It is filled with luxurious hotels and everyone is want to visit this place. Also, the Turkish people are nice in the tour Turkey, but they like a little bit to embellish things and also they like to use some tricks to attract the tourists. So once uh, we decided to go to excursion and we chose this excursion in our tour operator. He promised us and convinced us that it will help is that it will be safe and will have a lot of advantages comparing if you buy a ticket on the street. First, we convinced us that we will have the tour guide as a native Russian-speaking person, but instead we had Russian-speaking Mehmed. Anyway, he was, was very fun, very entertaining and tell us a lot of different stories during our travel by bus. Also, they convinced us that we will have a tour uh, fully fulfilled with different tourist program. First, they told us that we will visit uh, Heropolis. It is ancient Rome city, a uh, very nice city with Rome theatre you can see. And also then, after it, we will visit uh, the necropole, it is the city of um, dead people. The people visit the necropole. Mm -hmm. But when we arrived at the place and after visiting Heropolis, um, our two guys said, if you want to go to necropole, you can pay three liras. They are mashutka, you can pay three liras and travel to this place. Mm -hmm. So it is again one more trick how to attract the tourists. Um, anyway, also, they convinced us that we will have 100% of time spent for uh, tourists and to see the tourist places. But instead, the first stop it was in the textile shop. And they told us how beautiful and wonderful and um, they are textile shop, they are towns. After it, we also visited the factory that um, um, made the products from semi-pressured stone Ionix. And but after we visited um, the excursion place, I will tell you about. And after all this, when on our way back home, we visited um, we visited wine cellar. We tasted wine, and actually they uh, make very delicious with very sophisticated taste wine. It is pomegranate, yellow wine, uh, yellow melon wine. Um, and if you will be in Turkey, you may try it. But after this all stops, we were back to home and we were quite wondering why it is so quiet in the bus. And we look at the first seat and, snow, and saw our tour guide snoring. We was here just, he said, guys, 10 minutes, 10 minutes and I will wake up and then we will tell you different fun stories. But it took us like two hours to wake him up and, but after it, he actually, with all our strengths, he woke up and in the end we were singing Turkish and Ukrainian songs. It was, was very delightful. Anyway, uh, what nice place we have visited? And we have visited Pamukkale in Heropolis. It is actually has very stunning, beautiful views of dazzling uh, white terraces. People may think you can make very uh, beautiful photos, and people will think that it is uh, you in the swim snow, swim swimsuit, and the wallpaper behind you, because it is have. Uh, snowy white views, but actually it is not. It is from carbonate. And when you will 
be in Turkey, I suggest to visit this place because it is also considered as one of um, eight wonder of the world. So together with Egypt pyramids, it is eight wonder of the world. Very nice. And actually, uh, the temperature of water in those pools starts from 35 degrees to 100 degrees. So here it's very hot, really. Besides nice places in Turkey, Turkey, Turkey also has very unique traditions and I would like to tell you one of them. It is an uh, engagement ceremony. When the bridegroom comes to the girl's house to ask for her hand, he just should pass two exams. One exam is from his father and the guy should answer those questions. Where do you work? How much do you earn? If you visited, if you have been to army, and if you can afford the uh, anything to my girl, and if he is satisfied with these questions from his from uh, future husband, then uh, this guy should pass the exam from the Turkish girl herself. And here, from this moment, Turkish tradition begins. And she prepares Turkish coffee. She prepares Turkish coffee. And uh, she has two options. Yes or no to say to her future husband. And if the answer is no, she prepares delicious, most ideal coffee. And when he drinks it, he understands that she is not an option, that she was not waiting for him. But when the answer is yes, she prepares such a coffee, it's terrible, it's horrible. She can add anything there. She can add the paper, the salt, <laughs> the medicines that will make you run to the toilet. But why she does so? She wants to know for the last time if he really loves her. She is ready. If he really loves her. He, he wants to spend all his life with him. He will drink. He will drink this coffee. And everyone is watching. Everyone is looking at him that he drank that coffee. And after, uh, and after, when they are uh, in marriage, he, she, the girl, can uh, cook, clean, prepare everything. But sometimes it can make go wrong. And sometimes such uh, questions from husband can be, why, why it is not tasty, why it is not clean, why we have the mess in our flat. And after that, the Turkish calls immediately answers, why you drank that coffee two, three years ago? I warned you, I'm such a Turkish girl, I even can make a coffee and you want whole life with me. That's me, the Turkish girl, take me as it is. <laughs> so, the Turkish is very brilliant. It has different traditions. Uh, also, it has very uh, developed industries such as a textile, automotive industries. And also, it has a lot of pulse. When you go across the streets, you see that there are a lot of pulse. But actually, no one palm is ordinary uh, growth in Turkey. All the palms are brought from Africa and they put on every palm the number. It is also, uh, I would like to share yet one more story, if I can. Uh, the Turkey has, they are very, ex they have very expensive cars and petrol. But why it comes so? Ten years ago, the roads, they had the accidents on the roads every day. And during a uh, Holiday, uh, holidays for four days died 1,400 people. And from that moment, the president said, Enough accidents, enough bad roads. We are a modern country and we should have modern roads. And from that moment, they pay very big taxes for cars, like 20% uh, from the cost of car to buy across. Crossover. And but the Turkish people they do not rebel, they understand that it has results and they have good roads. So to sum up, I to conclude, I want to say that Turkey is nice.
country to visit. We can also learn something from it, like to how to develop uh, such kind of tourism. Uh, and it is, they have big plans for the future to have their own plane, to have their own car, and they are very proud of their nation. Thank you. Thank you.